wife of the year. Is that, we'll just hop in with you. Hey guys, Dusty Baker, Cross Numbers Bison. Welcome back to our channel. We've had a wild time trying to get Dunbar to the Haas herd. If you watched our previous video, you saw the struggles Marissa and I faced with Dunbar trying to get him to the Haas herd safely without meeting Big Joe face to face again. Meanwhile, while Big Joe was pinned up at the front in a corral with four females brought over from the original place at Mom and Kevin's, the curvy road came to a dead end whenever Dunbar jumped the fence and joined the Big Joe herd females. Marissa and I decided to give up that day, not stress ourselves out or the animals anymore. In the meantime, We let the Haas herd go, and we went ahead and released them into the 80-acre burn unit, which is where our end goal of putting Dunbar was. Can't even hardly see them because the grass is so tall. Hey, I remember this place. Where from? We can run for days. <laughs> Back to the wild. then we got lucky. One day after church, Marissa and Brooks and I pulled up to the Ponderosa and guess who was in the trap? Hanging out next to Big Joe. Dunbar himself had jumped a gate and was back again face to face with Big Joe with only a corral panel between them. Here is our opportunity to get Dunbar. So we made a quick move, had to make some adjustments, and get him caught and take him to his new herd. So the next thing to do was I had to get Dunbar pinned up into one of our pens where Cora typically stays. It was kind of dangerous and I was exposing myself and I couldn't get him to go with cubes or anything into this certain pen. Once we got him in this pen, we could run him down our loadout and get him on the trailer and get him gone to the pasture. But that wasn't easy. It didn't stop there. With my truck in the shop getting hail damage taken care of, I've been using Kevin's truck. Okay, well, <laughs> so I came up with the idea to try to use the truck and trailer, run it parallel to the corral where Dunbar and Big Joe kept coming face to face. I needed to create a lane. By putting the truck and trailer parallel with the corral, I was able to shrink the pasture down a lot more. Hey Cora. Hey girl. Oh, hey, he's right there. He's right at the end of that.
Knowing that Dunbar wanted to be close to Big Joe, I was able to run Dunbar down this temporary lane into the pen where we needed to catch him. Now we can load him out. Straight back, you're good. Maybe a little to the left. Good. Wife of the year. Coming out here helping, filming, opening up gates, getting Dunbar ready. Come on, babe. It's even Mother's Day and you're out here helping me to get this guy all of his problems. Right. <sighs> all right, I'm gonna go start working. Well, I know, but where do you need me at? Hey, Dunbar. That work? Does that work? Huh? Is that, we'll just hop in with you. We're moving pretty quick here. We got uh, Dunbar loaded uh, with the help of my awesome wife. And uh, got him loaded because he's been kind of a jack wagon here and caused some problems up here with Big Joe. So we're going to do it the uh, way I kind of thought about in the first place. We're going to take him out there in a the trailer and let him go with the hoss herd. So. Now we're pulling to the back side of our property where the hoss herd is and let him directly out in the pasture. So there's 80 acres between Dunbar and Big Joe now.
Well, here he is, guys, right there. Where it all began, right there from Rissa and I, Mr. Dunbar. And uh, <laughs> what a wild, uh, what a wild Sunday, basically. Um, where when we showed up to the Ponderosa, Marissa and I struggled getting Dunbar. I'm just walking around the vehicle so you guys can see um, Dunbar and Haas. <laughs> um, it's been kind of a circus trying to get him here because we got him in the pasture, the 40, with uh, this group, and he was not interested. All he wanted to do was be with the adults, basically. Then he jumped the fence and got in with the, uh, his original herd, uh, some adult cows, some Texas cows where Big Joe was. That was a cluster jumping the fence, and Marissa and I said, no, nope, we're going home. We're not going to deal with it anymore that day. Wasn't a problem. Everybody was calm. And then we come over there today, and Dunbar has basically jumped into the what we call the trap, which is right next to Big Joe, so they could touch nose to nose. Now, the good thing is, and I told Marissa this, is there's no fence between them. What's between them is a corral, which is a good thing. It's solid. They're going to have a hard time getting after it between each other. Now, they did mess up some of the panels on that corral, but that's a solid pipe corral. Got him and loaded him out, brought him over here, which is like a three-minute drive, really, to the back side of the property down a county road. And we came directly out here, found the hoss herd, found them, and this is the activity that's been happening. It's the strangest thing. Hoss is jumping on a Dunbar. And we came out here, we let him go directly to him so Dunbar wouldn't be alone. Now, he's still walking away from him. You can't, as you can see, some of the scuffling going on between him and Hoss. The whole time he's acted like he doesn't want anything to do with Haas. He's not even hardly fighting with Haas. Haas is actually pushing him around a little bit. But uh, he just acts like he wants to be somewhere else, basically. And, and you know, I, I kind of give it to him. Uh, I had to make a decision. Do I put Big Joe with all the adults? Or now they're all going to run over there to him and follow, <laughs> follow Dunbar. Um, do I let Big Joe with the adults? Or do I... Yeah, they're all leaving. Or do I put Dunbar in there? Uh, so it'd be it'd be Big Joe with Haas potentially, or not. But we wanted Dunbar and uh, Haas. We thought that would be a good matchup. We got the straggler coming in. And uh, so, anyways, I think the problem is is he's just never met these uh, this herd. They're all new faces. It's like a new kid at school. You know, when you get there, they're super nervous. There's a lot of anxiety going on you got new pasture ground new smells everything and new faces and it's it's kind of it's kind of uh i'm sure it's a situation for him because he's grown up at uh, mom and kevin's where we first started raising bison um now they're all coming back here comes dunbar so i'm sure it's interesting for him uh but he just has to acclimate to this herd so uh it's just going to take him a little bit to get used to each other Dunbar and Haas, them two figuring their stuff out, these two guys right here, and then all the smells and stuff. Because this year, why we're moving Dunbar in here is because these two are going to compete for ladies. There's 26 females in this herd, and so they're going to uh, they're going to come in the heat here in a couple months. And Haas can't breed 26. That's just we're going to miss out on that situation. Uh, because he he's a young bull and he can't cover that many that'd be a lot it'd be a stretch you know if he was a mature bull and had done this uh we could be like okay yeah sure but we're not going to take any risks so that's why we have to have two bulls in here and so we added dunbar to this group and so now there is um i guess there's 40 acres between them now it'd be or 49 whatever 40 acres um marissa's confirming for me there's 40 acres between them as a crow flies, we don't know. As a fence line goes, just like Marissa said, her and Brooks are in here with me, and um, there's 40 acres between them. Um, so anyways, 
now we've got them separated they're out here they're doing their own thing in this beautiful burn unit that um we've talked about and, and brought you out here with cole fagan and ethan and um cole meager out here helping us uh bring this back to the prairie land and by doing that you can see a bunch of red out there look at all them dead cedar trees i love it and uh turning this back to bison ground and it all starts right here with this herd and so uh breeding season will be here very soon and they'll be getting after it do we have our work cut out for us absolutely we're gonna have to keep coming and checking and making sure everybody's being good and that hoss and nunbar are not destroying each other which i don't think that'll happen you can take an older bull and put the younger bull if you took if you take now this is according to doc and I'm, it makes complete sense if you take two mature bulls and put them together you could have some issues if unless they didn't grow up together these two didn't grow up together that's kind of what we're facing on this whole situation but happy to have them out here we're gonna keep an eye on them and see how it goes <sighs> finally we did it after coming back and getting her mind straight and Dunbar caught himself basically and set us up to get him and so when you have the opportunity sometimes you got to take it and things worked out today for Marissa and Brooks and I thank you guys for Bison Ranch with us we'll see you soon